Hey, 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 hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. So I'm gonna show you on how to set up your lighting inside of Wadido. So, um, now by default you should be able to have a directional light set up right here. But otherwise, if you do not see this, then click on the plus button right here, scroll all the way down to where there's environments, and you should be able to have directional light and also volumetric light. And even point light as well, depending on your scene basically. But let's just start off by setting up the directional light um, just to get a start basically. So of course you can have it where it's disabled or enabled. And then um, you can of course set up you know, your positioning so you can set up the rotation here so that way you can change shadows basically so you can do that. And then of course you can change the scaling, you don't have to, I would just recommend that for directional light, just only change the rotation because the positioning will not matter, it's only rotation for directional light. For color you can change it to be whichever color you prefer, it could be nice blue or it could be perfectly white. And then you can of course set the intensity to be really high so the shadows are less or you can set it to be really low if you want that sort of dark look to your character basically. And of course you can have it so it can affect characters or it can affect props. Um, you can basically have it so it can uh, affect certain stuff depending on how your setup wants to be. Um, especially if you have different kinds of lighting you may want to mess with these settings. Then we also have shadow here which allows you to have like realistic shadows. Um, you can have it so it can be soft or harsh. It's not super perfect, but if you have soft shadows, you should be able to have pretty good shadows. Again, not super perfect, but something to look forward to. So yeah, um, but for mine, I think I will just turn off the shadows. But let's say we want to have a different sort of lighting. Let's say we want to have point light. So let's go here and add a point light to our scene. So once we have the point light, let's go ahead and position it, of course. Um, so we're going to go here and set it up. So we're going to have this to be, move it to Z a bit. Um, have it slightly like on the, like basically this will be left and right. This is moving back and forth and the Y will be up and down basically. Oh, as you can see, there's a little thing here right there. There you go. A little light. Um, so yeah, so pretty much um, here you can set up, of course, your color. You can have the range should be a lot more like affecting like more of the area. You can have the intensity be a much more higher, basically. Um, and of course, the same settings here. You can have it set to be shadow. So yeah, as you can see, um, it does add more detail to my character. Of course, it depends on what your preference is, but uh, you may end up liking it. So yeah. Um, but that's pretty much the point light basically. Um, of course, we can go into volumetric lighting right here. Volumetric light, this is uh, mainly best for like if you have an environment. Uh, it helps with that sort of like glowing effect basically. But otherwise, it depends on what you want uh, in a preference basically. So let's go ahead, uh, set that to be... Also, it's like a... Um... Yeah, so like, imagine yourself in like a concert, right? And you have like that spotlight on you. That's a that's another term uh, we can call this. We could call this the spot, uh, the spotlight, basically, instead of volumetric. But either works. Either name works. You can change the range of it. Uh, you can add some softness so it's not so harsh. Source radius could be a lot more bigger. Uh, you can even change the angle too if you like. Wow. And then I could probably have it so it is slightly angled um i can probably have it so it's like slightly angled at me i guess we could try that um i guess something like this i guess but not too much uh and then we can change the intensity of course too so we can have it like this basically and we can have it affect characters or not or prop whichever you like and of course again shadows um so pretty much though, oh, and there's also the noise here too, um, you know, the, again, you can play with the things however you like, uh, depending on what your preference is basically, but that's the beauty of Wadado is that there is built-in lighting that you could definitely mess around with, uh, but let's go ahead and add the point light here basically, and then we'll have that sort of, um, we'll go ahead and I believe we can 
uh, decrease the intensity just a bit more so it has that little slight look. But there you go. Um, pretty much in a nutshell, that is, um, and of course you could add directional light, but that will make me too bright. Um, or you could, uh, and then have it like as a different color basically. So I could do this. I can set the intensity be lower in a way. Uh, oh, that's the shadow. Uh, I meant this one. Um, so we can have it like this basically. So that way we have like, you know, um, again, depending on the line you want, but that should hopefully give you an example of, you know, what you can do with water do lighting basically. Technically, also, if you do have an environment, you could have the lighting built into the environment uh, via the SDK, of course. But otherwise, though, this should pretty much help you out on at least getting started uh, by making your VTuber uh, look really, really pretty with the lighting. And of course, uh, in case you're wondering about post-processing effects, I do have another tutorial regarding all the camera settings. You can definitely check out that goes in-depth on all the settings here and just showcasing you the different uh, post-processing that you can do but otherwise though please let me know if you have any other questions also if you have a um if you have like feature requests or you want to speak to the dev themselves then please join the water discord server in the description so that way you can be able to talk to them and you can learn even more about water uh they're able to ask questions um answer questions to anybody you can ask questions and such um so definitely it's it's really really fun uh discord server you could definitely check out i'll be there as well as other people who can definitely help you out but i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye